it's been a while I am back um, with another vlog I know it's been a while the summer has been crazy the kids have like a bunch of different activities but today I am heading back to Whitehorse Winery I have a, a new book from my favorite author Mary Monroe and I'm like sitting in the house and I'm like you know what I think I want you know to read my book surrounded by some beautiful views so we're head so I'm heading to Whitehorse um, Winery I particularly love this winery. They were so hospitable to me the last time I was there. It's very quiet at, at this time. It just opened up at 12. So I'm going to check it out to see what it's like and drink some wine, read my book. Okay. So I'm about to walk in over there and just grab my book it's super quiet and i believe the vineyards are over here can you see the vineyard over here hopefully you guys can see it's very bright out here but if you guys remember from my picnic video this is the entrance and then there's um, an area where you can do like tasting and stuff but we're walking up to the back now this is where I had my picnic the last time I'm gonna walk up in the back now so I love quiet places I think I don't know, it just makes the place the date. I think I'll grab a table out here. I wonder if I could handle it. I don't think I can handle it. It's really, really hot. Yeah, it's really You've got the barrels here. So I'm trying to figure out um, where I want to sit. So I'm looking. I might. It's like really hot today, so I'm trying to figure out where, and I do want to get a really nice picture. You know, you gotta get the content, right? You know? Porch here, and then they have fire pits over here at night. Yep. So, honestly, I might just sit out here just to kind of you know, be in nature, I guess, I don't know. So guys, this is the vineyards. So pretty. As always, I had um, <laughs> one of the women here take a picture of me, just so you can see this dress. This is like a simple target dress and I have my little, my brass bag here. And yeah, this is where the Cabernet Franc, this is where, um, this is, and then everything else is like labeled. So, here it's still Cabernet Franc, this one, so I'm gonna have to walk further down to see. So, I have my wine flight. Um, this one is the, wait, the written on the bottom. Castoni Rose. This one is the Cabernet Franc. And I believe this one is the Chamberson. And then I asked for a um, a dry right. So this one should be, let me see. This one is um, hmm. maybe the painted white, because it says PU on there. So I'm gonna try you know i'm not really as really oh my god outside is hot girls i was trying to take a picture outside it is hot i'm not really a sweet wine fan so i'm trying my best with this sweet one and we'll see how it goes so guys this is inside the um, the cellar or the tasting room um you guys can see this is my wine flight here or over here and this is where I'm sitting. There's a really pretty like picnic area outside. 
Cheers. Guys, I just got my board. So this is goat cheese bruschetta. And there's grapes, um, crackers, more goat cheese. I am about to dig in. It looks so good. And this right here, this is so good. This is probably like the only sweet wine that I could probably tolerate. It's a really good summer wine. So it is the Custini Rosé, and I'm loving it. You see the pretty color? So pretty for the summer. It's really, really nice for the summer. So I will drop the details in the description box, okay? Halfway done through my board. I'm about to try this one, which is called Painted White, I think, Painted White. It's good. It's actually not that dry. It's pretty like light, it's light body dry. It's pretty good. So guys, this one is my favorite one. This is called a Chamberson. It's like oaky, smooth. It reminds me of like a Pinot Noir and Merlot, but it's really good. So if you're ever down at White Horse Winery, try the Chamberson if you're a red fan. There's some, um, there's like a bunch of different wineries on this strip. So I'm going to stop at another one to see what it's like and I will show you guys around. We're at stop number two. If you can see, where is it, where is it? Oh, what is it called? Um, Matthias. It's very quiet. Even more quiet than the last one we went to, that I went to. Very peaceful though. So I'm walking in now. So pretty. My dream dress. <laughs> I'm hoping that I could sit inside because it's way too hot. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Good. So this is um Almathia, I wanna say. I like how they have little snacks here. Very nice here. We have like wines in the fridge. And then I'm, oh, that's the tasting. Oh, this is the tasting room over here? This is the tasting room? Oh, nice. Tasting room. Beautiful, I love it. So to do a tasting of like a bunch of different reds. Um, this is the French, what is it? The French barrel right here. Tasting room. And this is where I'll be tasting. Yeah. Let me try it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it is an easy drinking red. Yeah. It's very good. It's not like super full bodied. No. It's well, more on the lighter side, but it's good. Right. Well, so before you decide though, here's the here's our cap, so you can drink the one you like. Pretty good. So this is our Green Dragon Tavern Cabernet. Okay. And if you look at our labels, some mm -hmm. things are labeled as a Green Dragon Tavern and mm -hmm. some are Almathea, which is an estate grown or Jersey grown grape. Okay. So these Green Dragon can be sourced anywhere in the world. So this Cabernet is a Lodi California Cabernet. Okay. So that's your Green Dragon Cabernet. Okay. So this is what Green Dragon, I think he said. But it looks like the lid's going to pop out. And when I sprayed the top green with Star Sand, it actually looks like a blue So good. If you're a red wine drinker, this is like light body, like he said, notes of cherry. Um, oak it's not like full bodied at all it's very very light on the palate so it's really good i'm not supposed to be drinking no, wine. when you're tasting wine you're supposed to like you know what i mean and sipping but i don't got time for that <laughs> i am drinking this wine okay so this one is the um, i don't know cab I'm like accustomed to this taste, so it's kind of like my dry red wine. Um, so I'm accustomed to it, so it's good though. It's good. See, but I'm gonna let you taste it anyway because okay. we have it open. Um, 
2017, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon, it's a clone too. There are hundreds of different clones of mm -hmm. Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. This particular clone too uh, is grown right out here on the side of the vineyard. Okay. Um, it's very small, like ratio mm -hmm. is a lot different. And this will be much more tannic. Um, you'll get a uh, hints of like black tea, clove. Mm. If, you know, mm. if you've had clove, I've had or, clove. All right, so you're going to pick up clove notes yeah. on this all right the way. away. Okay. So, you know, we cook with clove, right? So, <laughs> so you can't mistake this. Can't mist okay. Forever. Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Oh, you know what? Before I even taste it, I smell the clove. I, I, you, you I literally smell the clove. Yeah, else. I do. It's a clove too. Yeah, it's good though. Mm -hmm. But totally different from the straight. From that one, sound. I think I like this cab. Yeah. I like it better than the straight. So, so yeah, we have a we have a following that likes our clone too. Cause you know what, the clone it it gives you that experience. So mm -hmm. like your you know your scent, your yeah, very complex. Yeah, I like that. I really like that. That's the winery experience. That's what you come to the winery right. for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you really love this. People who come here all the time, we try to say, you know, we not that we make a lot of money on a taste, mm -hmm. but taste everything changes while it's in the mm. bottle. So you may not have liked it before. You may like it. Even, you may have liked this, but you like it even more. Now. This is like good for like Christmas time. Yes. You know, like for Christmas, if you're like you know having your fruit cake, your ham with the clothes, your ham like, with the yeah, clothes, growing up, like. We had, that's how we know. This is perfect. And this is called a clone. What is it called? Clone it's 2. Cabernet clone Sauvignon. 2. Cabernet Sauvignon Clone 2. This is really good. I love it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I love that. Drink like a lot of like sweets and stuff like that. This is like a transition wine. Like if you're like white and you're trying to go to dark, like this is kind of light for them to kind of get to the... Agreed, agreed. You um, know what I mean? Yeah, and this has... Uh, Alicante, Barbera, Carmenier, Saint Gervais. Yeah. You know, temper a little bit of Tempranillo. That's right. Like, we call it like our stone soup wine. Yeah. yeah. This is really good, like a trant. Like you know, if you're mm -hmm. not really that, you know, a, a red fan. You know, if you're doing a pizza and you want that with pizza, we call it our pizza wine. A lot right, of people right. make right. reference to it just because it's a light, easy drink. It's light, it's the light, easy drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, guys, this is so peaceful. Like, I have my wine here. I'm about to start reading my book. This is just a dream. It's so pretty. Look, there's like nice flowers and stuff. I want to see if I can get someone to take a picture. But it's just like a dream. Like, literally a dream. Literally a dream.